Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I've been asked to review Heaven is a Chemical, the new album by Room 6 alumni and future return guest Pariah Was One. I recently saw them perform at Backstage Bar and Billiards along with future guests of the channel, Claustrophobia. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on videos like their interview and that show's review. Now then, let's get to listening. But first, better warm up the old neck muscles. PWO tends to bring out the headbanger in me. Before anything else, a quick wardrobe change. As much as I like my new merch that says, did you remember to rock today? I think something else is, uh, is called for here. Nice. Last time the band was on, they gave me this shirt, and amazingly, still fits. The album kicks off with Kill the Light, a mood setting track at just 59 seconds. Heavily modified vocals and multiple audio tricks give the listener the impression of some futuristic dystopian overlord computer dooming the planet. With lyrics like, kill the light and lessen the pain of why, kill the light the only way out is through, it's a nice touch to set the mood for the heavy stuff. I, for one, welcome our computer overlord. Speaking of which, Buried is up next. After a few pretty notes on the guitar, the sonic assault begins. With heavy riffs over a driving backbeat and vocals that alternate between screamo and haunting lyrical notes, this song is pure pariah with lyrics like, Depths that we dwell, losing line of sight in my mind of all these traits that made me a being that I liked, washed as they slip from the grip that I thought I had on who I was. It's a great start to what promises to have many layers. Next up is Nazgul, a song with a title right out of Lord of the Rings. The sound, however, is decidedly not from Middle Earth. Combining classic metal elements with discordant chords to create a unique sound, this track definitely sounds like something the Nazgul would have pumping in the earbuds on a flight into battle. This is only reinforced by lyrics like, Not by the hand of man shall we fall, cursed nine in shadow still, drawn in by the power he gave, no thought beyond all we craved, soul now lost within the darkness. I really dig this one, just the right amount of brutal and layered complication. Bringing things back down to earth, see what I did there? We get a love letter in the form of Dropper, the closest Pariah was one we'll probably ever get to a power ballad. While the heavy riffs and driving backbeat are there, we also get some nice underlying tenderness hidden underneath the angry vocals in lyrics like, took you into my world, protect you all that I could, gave you all that I thought you'd want, the glow you gave was pain and enough, the guard I had up is gone. I'd love to see a music video for this one. The next track on the album is Side by Side, which seems to be dedicated to soldiers and the military. This tune starts off with sounds of war before launching into a haunting melody whose time signature changes back and forth, keeping the listener interested. With lyrics like, take to the battlefield, a euphemistic sword and shield, losing focus through the sound of those who have fallen all around. This one has a slightly more radio friendly feel to it, and I wouldn't be surprised to hear it on local radio channel Comp 92.3's homegrown show soon. Shout out to Lori Steele. Coming up next is Say Yes to Rome, the longest track on the album. This one has rock anthem written all over it, with soaring vocals and building melodies rooted in almost gent-like rhythms. Gent. Pronunciation, de gent. Origin, fall. Meaning. The message of this track seems to be all about spontaneity and taking a chance, with lyrics like, Events past burned in your mind. What might have been now left behind. This life is it. Taking a brief break from the storytelling, we're treated to And On Time, which is the shortest track on the album at a mere 33 seconds. With a ticking clock and the futuristic computer vocals making another appearance, there's not a lot to dig into here except for lyrics like, What comes after time when our eyes are shut? when all the universe is gone. It's almost like a scenery change before the next act, and it's a nice touch. Moving on to a title that doesn't make sense at first glance, we get Boar Storm, the eighth track on the album. 
with more alternating between screaming and singing, this one also has a stronger backbeat driving things forward, and it's definitely a little more brutal in between the lyrical breakdowns. The name actually comes from the act of boring a hole, as in the lyrics, Bore into its center in hopes the old decays. Will karma find a way? Will justice have its day? So it's not a storm of boredom, I guess. Unlike work meetings, am I right? The ninth track on the album is Clarity of the Will, bringing more riffs and thick bass lines. The vocals are a little more serious here, building in intensity with harmonies before a staccato breakdown leads to guttural utterances in the patented back and forth we've come to expect from this band. It's strangely beautiful and emotional, with lyrics like, These tired lies you've justified, say goodbye, welcome your new mind, feel it growing, careful of the descent. This one brings to mind many a video from way back when MTV showed metal videos. You literally have music in your name! Next batter up is Polaris, which comes out of the gate swinging. Get it? Batter? Swinging? Sorry, I'm a dad. This song maintains a lot of elements we've heard in the previous songs, but this time there's a little bit of Middle Eastern influence evident. There's also a nice time change to slow things down a little, with lyrics like, Star, give me guidance. Without a path, I'm dying. Can't you see I'm trying? Reach out and show me a sign. After the breakdown, things get heavy again, thanks to a guitar riff that builds into something headbang-worthy. This one is a crowd favorite based on the pit that formed at Backstage Bar and Billiards. The next song is Demanding, which kind of reminds me of my ex. Just kidding, my wife knows there have never been any women besides her in my life. Ever. I swear, honey. We are talking about the greater good! Greater good? I am your wife! I'm the greatest good you are ever gonna get! Another fast-paced, riff-driven song, the vocals jump right in and oscillate between the two extremes immediately. More introspection comes in with lyrics like, Did they fill our heads with lies about what's to come when we die? Was it even worth what we tried? This is another one that is powerful and should be on your workout playlist. From there we move on to Cycles, one of a few songs from this album with a music video on the band's YouTube channel. I'll put a link to it in the description. Another hard and heavy hitter, we're also treated to some time changes, dynamic vocal changes, and insightful lyrics like, Playing the savior, but not for yourself. Give all to others, you're kept on the shelf. Drained of your life force to make others shine. You don't speak a word when your light starts to die. The penultimate track is also an eponymous one. Look it up. And it's easy to see why they chose to name the album after it. We get a nice cross-section of the entire album here, with great guitar technical playing, thick backbeats, power chords that hit the listener in the chest, an almost jazzy breakdown, and vocals that continue to bounce dynamically between anger and sorrow that's tinged with love. The last full song on the album were given a final message in the shape of lyrics like, there are days when you feel like you've lived this before. It's like something's trying to break through to you. This one really hits home for some reason. Finishing up the album is the provocatively titled, What If? At just one minute and three seconds, it's basically a bookend for the opening song. The title's not the only provocative part of this track, with lyrics like, What if you're already dead? Death is at the door and you're in a padded prison of your mind's own chemical construction. It really feels like we just beat the big boss of the game, only to be teased with a possible sequel. Can't wait to see what comes next! Overall, Heaven is a Chemical is another solid outing by Pariah Was One, with serious thought put into it and serious emotion behind every note and word. There's something for everyone here, and I'm glad I got to review it. I think you'll enjoy it too. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you click the link down below to get your own copy of Heaven is a Chemical by Pariah Was One. It's a great album, and it seriously rocks. In the meantime, if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or the social media link down in the description. Other than that, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up there. If you'd like to subscribe, it would really make a difference. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.